Hi, this is Keith Townsend from VirtualizedGeek.com with well, actually a pretty simple video on using VMware Workstation's Network Editor. Uh, it took me a couple of, uh, I'm sorry, VMware Fusion's Network Editor on the Mac OS X platform. It took me a little bit of time to actually figure out this actually pretty simple thing. If you've seen my earlier video on using the VMware Workstation network editor for creating nested virtualization labs. I was doing, I wanted to do the same thing with VMware Fusion version five, which uh, professional would comes with the network editor, but I couldn't find it because I'm not a primary Mac user. Uh, but uh, after a, a good portion of reading the help session within the program, it's not in, the doc, in VMware's documentation. And it kind of assumes that you know your way around a Mac Long story short, you go to uh, the VMware Fusion menu, preferences, uh, network, and then go down to custom, unlock the console to make changes. Then once you unlock the console to make changes, you can hit on the plus icon, which allows you to now name and create and name a uh, new custom network. Uh, you see that the options are more or less pretty similar to the ones that's available to you in VMware Workstation 9 on the Windows and Linux platforms. We can uh, set it up for natting. We can have the Mac connect to this network or not, if you choose not to have your Mac connect to this network, then only the VMs on this custom network will be allowed. We can enable DCP and uh, further uh, to, uh, set a, create a IP range. It's just as simple as that. Uh, once you know, know where to go, uh, you can set it up. I encourage you to visit virtualizedgeek.com to learn more about virtualization and virtualization technologies. Thanks and have a great one.